Welcome student. Let's learn geometry. Geometry has many uses. It is used whenever we ask questions about the size, shape, volume or position of an object. As a school subject, it helps develop logical reasoning. Architects and engineers use geometry in planning buildings, bridges and roads. Almost everything you do in your daily life involves geometry in some way. Today we are going to learn congruent triangles. Let's start with the definition. Congruent triangles are triangles that have the same size and shape. If two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and angles will be equal. As you see in the picture, there are two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. If these two triangles are congruent to each other, then angle A will be equal to angle D, angle B will be equal to angle E, and angle C will be equal to angle F. In the similar way, their corresponding sides will be equal. Side AB will be equal to side DE, side AC will be equal to side DF, side BC will be equal to side EF. Let's learn the different methods to check whether two triangles are congruent or not. First method is SSS. That means side, side, side. If all the three sides of the first triangle are equal to the corresponding sides of the second triangle, then triangles are said to be congruent. Now look at the picture. We are given with two triangles triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Suppose if we are given that side AB is equal to side DE, side BC is equal to side EF and side CA is equal to side FD, then by SSS congruency we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Now let's see an example to check whether triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR or not. In triangle ABC we are given side AB equal to 6, side BC equal to 4 and side AC equal to 5. Similarly in triangle PQR PQ is equal to 6, QR is equal to 4 and PR is equal to 5. Now we can see side AB of triangle ABC is equal to its corresponding side PQ of triangle PQR. Similarly side BC is equal to its corresponding side QR and side AC equals to its corresponding side PR. So that means AB equals to PQ AC equals to PR and BC is equal to QR. Therefore, by SSS congruency, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Now, let's see the second method, SAS. That means side angle side. In this, two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the sides and the included angle of the other triangle. Now look at the triangles ABC and DEF. Here side AB is equal to side DE and side AC is equal to DF. Included angles, angle A is equal to angle D. Therefore, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Let's see an example to check whether two given triangles are congruent or not. In triangle ABC, we are given side AC equals to 4 feet side BC equals to 5 feet 
an included angle C equals to 50 degree. In triangle PQR, we are given side PQ equals to 5 feet, side QR equals to 4 feet, and included angle Q equal to 50 degree. We can see side AC of triangle ABC is equal to side QR of triangle PQR and side BC is equal to side PQ. Also included angles between two sides are equal to 50 degree. Therefore we can see AC is equal to QR, BC is equal to PQ and included angle C and Q is equal to 50 degree. Therefore, by SAS congruency, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Let's learn the third method of congruent triangles. Third method is ASA. That means angle side angle. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of other triangle. Now let's see the triangles in the picture. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Here we have angle A equal to angle D angle B equal to angle E and side AB is equal to side DE therefore by ASA we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF let's see an example to check whether given triangles are congruent or not as we are given in triangle XYZ angle X is equal to 50 degree angle Y is equal to 60 degree and side XY equals to 6 feet and in triangle PQR we are given angle P equals to 50 degree angle Q equals to 60 degree and side PQ equals to 6 feet so as angle X and angle P both are equal to 50 degree, that means angle X is equal to angle P. Similarly, angle Y and angle Q are equal to 60 degree, that means angle Y is equal to angle Q. And also included side XY and PQ are equal to 6 feet, that means the given triangle XYZ and PQR are congruent by ASA congruency. This brings us to the end of the session. Have a nice day.